Hello dear students. So this is second lecture of extra chromosomal inheritance and in this lecture we will be discussing the example of snail coil. So in the first lecture we have understood what is extra chromosomal inheritance. I will just summarize what we discussed in previous lecture. So we have discussed that extra chromosomal inheritance is also called cytoplasmic inheritance or maternal inheritance or organular inheritance. And Corinth discovered the first example of extra chromosomal inheritance in Mirabilis gelapa. We have discussed the example of vira, uh, leaf variegation and Mirabilis gelapa in first lecture. And in today's lecture, we are going to discuss the second example, which is coiling pattern of shell and snail uh, called Limnia pergera and this is an example of maternal influence or maternal effect. We have already discussed that there are several other examples of extra chromosomal inheritance which includes paramecium, pitite mutants in yeast and male sterility in plants and we know that results of reciprocal crosses show different results in case of extra chromosomal inheritance. We have also discussed in the previous lecture that there are three kinds or examples of extra chromosomal inheritance and the first kind is maternal effect depending upon uh, indirectly on nuclear genes and it involves no cytoplasmic hereditary units example is snail coiling. The second example is of paramecium kappa particles which are examples of cytoplasmic dispensable and infective hereditary particles in cytoplasm this we are going to discuss in third lecture and the third example which includes cytoplasmic inheritance because of organelar uh, genome including mitochondrial and chloroplast gen genome and it includes the examples of miraculous gelapa leaf and branch color and male sterility in plants and pitite mutants in yeast so this we have already discussed one of the examples uh, leaf variegation in Mirabilis gelapa in the first lecture of extra nuclear inheritance. Now today we are going to discuss snail coiling uh, in snail coiling or shell coiling of snail which, in, which is an example of maternal effect. Now if you see uh, the shell, uh, shell coiling in snail is of two types right handed and uh, left handed coiling when you take the snail in your hand and if the coiling pattern is on the right hand side it is called dextral coiling and if uh, the opening is on left hand side it is called sinistral coiling now we know that dextral is dominant over sinistral this is known so in the first cross say when the dextral is crossed with sinistral the f1 is uh, all sinistral now in the first case say the dextral is male and the sinistral is female so f1 are all sinistral and f2 all dextral in f3 uh, we obtain three dex dextral is to one sinistral so in the reciprocal cross when the reciprocal cross is done, in the reciprocal cross, when the sexes are interchanged, say now the dextral is female and the sinistral is male. So F1 resembles dextral. So this is opposite of the first cross because um, when the sexes are changed, the results of F1 also changes. And in the second cross, the F2 are all dextral and F3, 3 dextral is to 1 sinistral. How, so how to explain this cross? Uh, as, is it because of cytoplasmic inheritance? No, this is not a typical example of cytoplasmic inheritance. This is an example of maternal effect. So what is the maternal effect? We will understand. It should be clearly noted that phenotype of the female parent does not have any effect on the phenotype of progeny. It is the genotype of the female parent which is really decisive. And this is an example of delayed effect of genotype. So this picture is from P.K. Gupta and you can refer P.K. Gupta for uh, this particular example. So in, what does that mean? This we will understand with the help of 
uh, this cross which is shown in this picture. So if you see the first cross shows the dextral is female parent and the sinistral is male parent and the F1 progeny resembles dextral. When the intercross is done F1 is selfed you see that F2 are all dextral and in F3 the ratio is 3 dextral is to 1 sinistral. So now in the reciprocal cross you see that when the female parent is sinistral and the male parent is dextral then F2, F1 is all sinistral while in F2 all dextral are there in F3, 3 dextral is to 1 sinistral ratio is there. So if you see till F1, F2 and F3 the results are same in both the crosses but F1 if you see the results of F1 they are different. The F1 is resembling the dextral um, so it is resembling the in uh, first cross the dextral is female parent so the F1 is dextral so it is like uh, maternal inheritance and in the second cross also since the female parent is sinistral so the F1 is sinistral while when we come to F2 whether it is cross 1 or cross cross 2 uh, the F2 are dextral and in F3 the ratio is 3 dextral is to 1 sinistral how to uh, explain this so this is a little tricky example and you can understand it like this like, like till f1 uh, the, the progeny is resembling the uh, female parent but in from f2 it is actually the genotype of the female parent which matters not the phenotype of the female parent so it is resembling the female parent but not in terms of phenotype but in terms of genotype so if you see both the crosses in both the crosses the female parent is heterozygous capital D small d so all the progenies in F2 are dextral in both the crosses because they are resembling their mother parent and in F2 and F3 the uh, then the ratio is 3 is to 1 so this is an example of delayed effect of genotype because till F1 uh, they were resembling the female uh, phenotype of the female parent but f2 onwards they are resembling the genotype of the female parent that is why this text is written from pk gupta which i will read again it should be carefully noted that phenotype of the female parent does not have any effect on phenotype of progeny this is true from f2 onwards from F2 onwards, you see both the examples, both the crosses. It is the genotype of the female parent which is really decisive. And this is an example of delayed effect of genotype. So, now I will read the text from Pierce which says that this is an example of genetic maternal effect. What is genetic maternal effect? A, a genetic phenomenon that is sometimes confused with cytoplasmic inheritance is genetic maternal effect in which the phenotype of the offspring is determined by the genotype of the mother and cytoplasmic okay so what does that mean it means the same that from f2 and f3 it is actually the uh, the the phenotype of the progeny in f2 and f3 is is dependent on the genotype of the mother parent in cytoplasmic inheritance the genes for a characteristic are inherited from only one parent usually the mother but in genetic maternal effect the genes are inherited from both the parents but the offspring's phenotype is determined not by its genotype but by the genotype of the mother okay so this is from peers and it says that although the genes are it is getting from both mother and father but in f2 and f3 uh, although it has both the gene both the alleles capital d and small d but they are resembling all they are resembling the mother uh, because the mother is dextral so uh, it is dextral and mother is dextral because of the genotype capital d small d which is heterozygous and we have we know that dextral is dominant over Sinistral. So, for this particular example, please refer both P.K. Gupta and P. 
Spears and also other books you can refer but I have um, I will recommend these two books now uh, so this is genetic maternal effect and for this text you can refer basic fears which I have already discussed with you and this picture is from Clug and Cummings so this picture shows the same phenomenon and they have shown it in generation 1, generation 2, gener generation 3 and generation 4. So you see that in the first cross uh, the F1 progeny is dextral because the mother is dextral and in the second cross the F1 progeny is sinistral because the mother is sinistral. While in generation 3 and generation 4 it is depending upon the genotype of the mother. It is not resembling the phenotype of the mother but the genotype of the mother. In both the crosses, the genotype is heterozygous, uh, capital D, small d. So, the, um, the progeny will be dextral. So, you can refer all these books, P. K. Gupta, P. Ayers, Clug and Cummings. Also, you can refer Snustad and Simons, Griffiths and for understanding this topic more. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.